So finally, I am up to fabric. I have been working on these wings for over a month and this is probably one of my favorite parts about doing these type of builds. So stick around, watch the video, and let's have a little fun with this. Welcome to my channel. Around here, you want something, you gotta build it. Follow along. situation like this, this gas tank has got two coats of poly brush on it already. And when you have fabric like this, you don't want to see this line. So if you take your iron and you just apply light pressure about 220 degrees, it will just melt that fabric right into that poly brush and it almost completely disappear. When I look at it, if you can feel it, you can see it. So, I got the leading edge glued up. We'll flip the wing over and we'll just start gluing ribs and sticking fabric to it. So we're ready to start shrinking fabric. Ah. Uh, Thought I better make a quick video of this. I'm just having so much fun doing it. Anyway, I got the bottom shrunk at 250 degrees first try. You notice all these are glued. I use the old style method where you peel the fabric back, glue six inches, and then push it in. I found that works way better on bottoms. On the top, you don't have to do that. You just glue the perimeter. Once you get it shrunk, then you can glue through the ribs. Got this thing set, 121, which is 250. This is by far my favorite part of fabric covering. This is where it kind of starts to come to life. Run over all these edges. If you've got any glue underneath, it flattens it out. Shrink that fabric right around the trailing edge. Okay, we'll go up front, pulse ribs. I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a little bump of glue right there sticking up. Just run right over top of that thing. Just flattens it. If any of you guys are nervous about starting your fabric, don't be. It's so simple. I think the hardest part about it is just having the patience to run over all these edges. I'm only shrinking at 250 degrees for the first one. Then I'll crank it up to 300 run over it. It still looks good. We'll go up to 350. I don't think you really need to. They say running over your fuel tanks. That's by far the hardest part. That tank acts as a huge heat sink. And it's already coated with poly brush. You can't just set the iron on it. If you do, it'll start sticking to the glue. You gotta kinda just let it hover. It takes forever. 
like I said, you gotta have patience. I'm gonna take a run over this. Make sure all that fabric is shrunk. like this iron. I didn't know if I would, but it seems pretty easy and well balanced. Got a few wrinkles here. I'm stretching this way, it was pulling the fabric. You don't ever want to just go on top of those wrinkles. Kind of go next to them. Take your finger and pull them, and it flattens it. Then you can shrink that fabric. Try to go right over top of a wrinkle, you're gonna make a mess. That's about it. We just keep going, we'll do the rest. And then, after it's all shrunk, we'll brush the glue through here, let that set, and then we can start filling the weave with poly on the brush. Yeah. So, so yeah, stick around and watch the rest. The other side shrunk down to 250. Just finishing out this leading edge on the bottom. And you can feel this fabric wraps over and I cut it here. You can feel that. Just take and run over that corner with your iron. It just kind of melts the fabric right into the glue underneath. Almost makes it disappear. That takes a lot of time, but I have found if you take your time while you're doing this step, finished product is a whole lot nicer. Somebody asked me the other day what I'm using for covering. This fabric is Superflight 102. It's a certified fabric. The reason that I went with this over polyfibers fabric is cost. This is nine, nine and a half or ten dollars a yard and polyfiber is close to 16. This has the exact same breaking strength. The thread count is very similar. It's the exact same weight, 2.79, I think. So yeah, why not save a couple bucks there. And then I am using the actual polyfiber glues and sealers, paint, everything. The polytone that you buy from Aircraft Spruce is $179 a gallon. Now you go to Wix Aircraft, and that exact same gallon is $105 a gallon. So figure that one out. Give Wix a chance. They will beat Aircraft Spruce on almost everything. Originally, I was gonna go with Oratex. The reason that I didn't, I'll show you. This is the estimate. This is the estimate just for doing the wings. $4,395 just to buy the fabric. That's ridiculous. So with the polyfiber system, I, I don't have it in front of me, but I believe with this fabric, which is certified, and all the coatings from polyfiber, it's just over 1,100, that's everything. So yeah, Oratex is just way too expensive for this type of stuff, in my opinion. Yes, it saves you a little bit of time, but you still gotta glue the fabric down, you still gotta put the tapes on, you still gotta rib stitch. So the only thing you're saving is the sealing, the UV protectant, and the paint. So you do one coat in the morning, one coat at night. That's three days worth of work. Or in 
hour per coat probably, so six hours worth of work you're saving using Ortex, that's it's not worth it to me. But anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll crank the iron up to 300 degrees, do another shrink, and we'll see how it looks. I'm hoping to get to poly brush sometime today, so stick around. Okay guys, we are poly brushing, finally. This is the part when it starts to stink. Just take one bay at a time. All you're doing is fill in the weave. Stuff dries really quick. To finish it. That's it. Use a three to one poly brush. Get a good quality brush. This one's made by Prudy. I think they do pretty good, but if you have a good brush like this, you will not get brush marks. Your finished product will be very nice. So I'll keep going. I'll let you guys know when I'm finished. So that was a good day. You shrunk the fabric and put a good coat of poly brush on it today. So I'm happy with that. Next video probably see if we can relearn how to rip stitch and possibly put some tapes on. So if you guys are liking what you see don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.